everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel for those of you guys who are new. My name is Culture Sims and today we are going to be doing a Christmas warming day 5 and 6. So as soon as I opened my game today I was greeted with this nice little pop up that says Merry Christmas. To help your Sims celebrate the festival season you have received a gift of seasonal items that you can find in decorations, lighting, living room, outdoor, decorations, walls, windows, and doors section of your home store so make sure you guys go and check out those tabs to see what gifts that you have received for free today and we are filming this on December 15th so today that I will be uploading it and it should be live in your game for you guys right now as always every day because we are getting you packs in for Christmas I have been looking at them and this one has caught my eye and I'm really considering buying it because it's not necessarily worth ten dollars but I don't don't have anything in the game like this so I feel like this would be a really good um, addition to my game that you guys can use for like your teens or your preteens for like little birthday parties and I personally think it's really cute let me know what you guys think about it down below okay so getting on into day five we have to skip past this and I was just reading it just to see kind of like what we're getting for the day and we're getting this cute little fancy standing lamp right here and we're about 30 30% done with this quest so definitely still have a few more days to go so let's go ahead and get on into day five um, let me know what day you guys are on currently and how your progress is going because I'm very curious to know uh, where you guys are at in the game so the first task that we have for day five is to go to the park. It says the who is of who of Simtown contains a photo of the grouch delighting in Sim's misery. Nothing beats a public space to witness collective disappointment. The grouch must have gone to the park. Have your Sim travel to the park. Now talking about like disappointment and collective disappointment, I feel like that's kind of something that the grouch is like common for so it's not like out of the ordinary like at all um as you guys can see i have not collected anything from my town map today uh so we are just going to be heading on over to the park and it is still nice and snowy here which is fabulous so let's go ahead and bring Haley winchester over here because why not we haven't seen our girl in a minute the next task is to read the flyer. Your sim arrives at the park to find the grouch standing near some paper on the ground. Upon closer inspection, your sim realizes that they are flyers. What evil scheme is up his sleeve this year? Have your sim read the flyer. Okay, so we're going to come on over here and see what the grouch is up to. And reading the flyer is just going to take 1 hour and 30 minutes guys look at the grouch like if you guys watched yesterday's video you know that I was just talking about I cannot wait to see the grouch because we haven't seen him yet this year and here he is with all of his glory so <laughs> I love the way they make him walk to be completely honest it's so funny so the next task that we have is to confront the grouch your sim reads the flyer this year's Christmas presents will be replaced with seashells and
not even going to bother doing it 14 times. Um, so yeah, definitely make sure that you guys free up at least 14 sims for that particular task. I highly recommend you just starting them all at once and then they'll finish all at once and you guys can finish a lot quicker. So the next task is to explain the happiness paradox. Your sims have a <laughs> mind settles upon an indigenous idea. Isn't the grouch uncharacteristically? I could not finish that. <laughs> um, so we need to explain our happiness paradox to the Grinch and that takes two hours and 23 minutes to complete. Luckily that one's not too bad compared to the 10 or 11 hour one that you have to do 14 times but I feel like that was just a little absurd, even for the Sims in the particular quests. So we have completed day five and our reward was a fancy standing lamp. So it's a really cute lamp, I will say, but for some of the quests that we had to do, or not quests, but tasks rather, um, and the time frames, I don't know if it's worth it, but if you guys wanna like complete everything, you have to get through it. So the first task of day six is watch the Grouch's existential crisis. You're Gr or the grouch is happy is considering the happiness paradox he has become a happy grouch realizing the irony of the situation he splutters watch the grouch have an existential crisis by the X. okay so we need to come on over here and watch the grouch and that's going to take us 38 minutes ah uh. Poor Grouch. He's going through some things this day. Um, okay, so the next task is to secure the Grouch's vote. The thought of being happy throughout Christmas is making the Grouch's ginger hair curl. He is grateful for your sim for returning him to the grouchiness. I guess I should thank you. For a fee, of course. Have your sim secure the Grouch's vote with a financial package. Okay, so <laughs> apparently um, we did something for him he's now grouchy again and he's going to give us his vote but we need to secure it and make sure that he's not going to change his mind so that particular task is just going to take one hour and 15 minutes to complete the next task is to go to Santa's workshop your sim finalizes the deal with the grouch better hurry he says the manufacturing at Santa's workshop is about to swing to shells or switch to shells rather have your sim travel to Santa's workshop Okay, so traveling to Santa's workshop actually just instantly brings you there, but I'm kind of excited because this is Haley's first time being to Santa's workshop. Keep in mind that she hasn't been an adult that long, but even as a child, she's never been able to come here, so that's pretty cool. So, now that we're here, the first thing we need to do is panic at the X. <laughs> Your sim arrives at Santa's workshop to be met by the distressed Pepper. She says that Santa is making them prep seashells and sunscreen presents. Have your sim panic at the X. Okay, so panicking at the X is going to take us an hour and 16 minutes. And trust me, if I found out that Santa is trying to replace my toys with sunscreen and seashells, I'd probably panic for a little over an hour too. Just saying. <laughs> so, moving on to the next task we have to complete for the day is search for machine parts. So it says that your sim is snapped out of their panic by the loud bang. Broken seashells have jammed the present production line. Pepper exclaims, it seems the parts need to, or needed to repair the present machine can be found in household items. So we need to find 64 present machine parts from household items. Uh, quick complete to find extra parts. Okay. So we need to find 64 parts just by searching some things and I found that the only thing that you can search here at least that I clicked on was the Christmas tree. I don't know if you can go home and do it which will probably be easier because you'll have more furniture in your house but um, at least if you click on the Christmas tree I know that that at least works. So you have to find 64 parts and of course I only um, did it like once or twice and then I just like skipped through the uh, quest so I didn't have to do it 64 times. Or not 64 times but find 64 items you know what I mean? Okay so moving on from that quest the next task that we have to do I don't know why I keep calling them quests they're tasks. <laughs> Get on with it culture sims is to reset the present machine. Your sim finds all the repair parts and and the present production line chugs back to life. Seashells and sunscreen doesn't cut it for Christmas. You have to get the machine production line set back to uh, producing presents. Okay, so to reset the present machine, we need to do that. Just click on the machine and it'll take us a little over three hours and like three hours and 40 minutes. Three hours and 38? 
37? <laughs> Something like that. Um, okay, so for day six as reward, we have gotten, what is this? Um, it looks like the lamp set, which is pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, I think it's called the Welcoming Rings. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, of course, make sure you guys like, subscribe, let me know down below where you guys are in the game and if you like it, if you've given up, if you're going to try and finish it. And definitely make sure you guys turn on the notification bell so you guys know when I'm going to upload. I'm going to be doing more house builds on my channel because you guys really seem to like that. Um, and yeah, so I cannot wait to see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Bye guys.